Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys. I hope you guys are doing good this evening. So I want to come on here and talk about the whole Nikita Dragon situation. So it was a big mess today on Twitter, even on Instagram, honey. They had to know to pull down my post. Um, for some reason, it's back up. I guess they decided that I wasn't being transphobic with they punk asses. Um, so what happened is that basically Nikita Dragon, once again, you know, she has to do anything to trend. So she dropped her new music video. And basically, it's called Dick. Okay, D-I-C-K, Dick. Okay, real classy, Nikita, real classy, ma'am. So she dropped the video. So in the video, she's not only singing about dick, she also goes on to say that a lot of regular women uh, bite her style, you know? And so she used pictures of Lash Lioness, who was a fan of hers, and also Asian Doll, and basically also wrote dick on there, on their pictures, insinuating that they copied her and she set the trend and all this goofy shit. So people started tagging Asian Doll, and they're like, you know... Sis, why didn't Nikita Dragon put your picture in her video that she just posted? So Asian Doll's like, right, I want to know too. So now everybody's starting to clown. Like, what the hell? Let me go ahead and play you guys a snippet of the video, the part where it flashes and it shows the female. She also got drugged for, once again, outing Tiger. And I don't even know how you can even out Tiger because yeah, we've been known that, you know, he swings whichever way, honey. So y'all go ahead and check this out. And I don't go back and forth. I'm winning, check the score. I got a lot, but I want some more. Find a thing that I saw in the store. You wearing shit that I already wore. Hey, 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 don't play. All right, y'all just saw that snippet. If you want to watch the whole thing, y'all can go search for it. So basically, after that, after that Asian dog got on social media and she said, Nikita will get dragged by that bald head of his. Don't play with me. Then she says, you shake your cardboard ass too is an African-American. You literally dress like a black girl. You wanted your ass big like a black girl. You wear lace fronts and black girls started that trend. You got lip fillers because you wanted big lips like a black girl. Bitch, please. Before you got on the table, you was an Asian boy. You got off that table looking like a black girl. You even make your skin darker with makeup. Truth be told, you want to be a black girl. So then, of course... So on top of her saying that to Nikita, um, Lash Lioness was also in the video and she said this. This is so mean at Nikita Dragon. Why would you shade your fans in your video? I really loved her and she gonna say, you wearing that shit I already wore? My former stylist pulled this dress for my birthday years ago. I'm not a celebrity or an op for you to be trying to shade or bully. I'm a supporter. Like I could have been left out the video in the negative. So she was upset. So then Nikita decided to respond back to them and she says respectfully at Asian Brat, this statement was to show that trans women set the trend for cisgender females, yet never get credit. This was not meant to be shady towards you. You just happened to be an example. By the way, thank you at Loka for my original designed birthday outfit from 2019. So then you can see here that she's wearing the same outfit that Asian brat had on in that picture. So then somebody replied to Nikita Dragon's story and they said, they said, girl, stop. Black girls gave trans women and gay people culture. Quit playing with our name. So then Nikita says, no, black trans women and black gay people gave the culture. So then somebody else replies to her and they say, I just feel as though you think y'all made up everything. If they were no woman, what would you want to look like or what would you look up to exactly? Then she replies back and she says, trans women are the most beautiful creatures to walk the earth. I've never seen a cisgendered female even come close in all caps to looking how my sisters look. So then at that point, everything got really, really ugly. So somebody posted a picture and they say, trans women set the trends for cis women. Also Nikita, you guys see her there with her skin darker. She has on braids and things like that. And then somebody else says to her, stop talking down on black women. And Nikita says, I'm not. I love black women. I love everyone, trans, gay, straight, alien, it doesn't matter. But just know trends were made because of black trans women and black gay men. So she says it again. 
And she goes on to say, trans women have been murdered, beaten, and killed. The most wanted, the most hated. No longer do we live in the shadows behind closed doors or as a secret. Trans women are the future. So then it started a big uproar on social media. Folks were going back and forth with her. And then she went on there and she wrote, I got the straights mad, mad. So she was loving this attention. So then at that point, you know, it just caused a huge debate on social media. And people started coming at Asian Doll and saying that she was transphobic. Even if you Google her name with Nikita Dragon, all of the major publications like Complex, HotNewHipHop.com, they're basically saying that Asian Doll is transphobic. She did end up deleting that tweet, but it's very interesting how all these hip-hop outlets are so quick to call her transphobic, but nobody's calling out Nikita Dragon on her bullshit. So it caused a lot of conversation online. People went back and forth. Even on Neighborhood Talk, Just Hilarious had replied back to, had replied back to someone, and she said this. That's a topic she might want to be careful with. You know Nikita's transgender. So Jess Hilarious says, you see your comment though? Why can they do and say whatever the fuck they want to say? But everybody else has to be careful when mentioning them. Fuck out of here. They people just like us. Nigga, they bleed just like us. They feel just like us. All that. So that's what um, Jess Hilarious had to say. And a lot of people had a lot of those sentiments on social media. People are just tired of Nikita Dragon um, and her games and the things that she does for attention. And then Tiger came out trying to defend himself because, like I said, he was also in the video. So Tiger says that basically the reason why he was in her DMs was because of a video. So this is what he wrote. He says, my company shot and directed a music video for her a while back that never dropped. Not sure why she added my likeness to this. Then he says, ladies and gentlemen, clout kills. First of all, I don't believe a word that Tyga says because <laughs> we all know Tyga, honey, has been caught with trans women in the past. And even recently, as like two months ago, Black China was online, his baby's mother, clowning him and blasting him for being with trans women, you know, out of the blue, like we didn't know this already. So that's nothing new for Tyga. So he's trying to claim now that it was for a video. Okay, Tyga, we don't believe you. You need more people in my Jay-Z voice. So my thoughts are this. I think Nikita Dragon is very, very messy and has always been. I don't know what it is with some people in the trans community, especially the females um, and their issues with regular women. I don't get that. Okay, I don't know what the hell a cis woman is, and I'm not using that title. Um, I'm a woman, period, point blank. I'm not cis. I don't know what that is and where that came from, and I'm not entertaining it. If you want to call yourself trans, I'm cool. I'll call you that. I don't want to be called cis, cis, okay? So I've noticed that this is not the first time that Nikita has been called out for, you know, throwing shade at women, misgendering them. And she's done this to people that I know personally in real life, where she knew that that was a woman, but she thought it was funny to misgender them and say little slick shit. But then the second she gets that energy back, she runs behind the trans card. Well, I'm trans and what you're saying to me is transphobic. But yes, she can talk about people's looks. She can talk down to women, talk about how their bodies are not like hers. It's very easy to get arrogant when you have a good plastic surgeon. Because what people forget before Nikita was ever Nikita Dragon, Nikita was a little Asian boy and he didn't get any attention. So let's keep that real, okay? So Nikita is clearly getting way more attention now as a trans girl than she ever got when she was a gay boy. So let's keep that real. And unfortunately for some people with all this newfound attention and money and fame and a new body, it goes to their head. Because like I said, when he was on YouTube as a boy and, you know, just talking and doing videos, nobody was really checking for him like that. But then once he started transitioning and then now he became Nikita Dragon, because before he was Nick Dragon, okay, we can go way back. He was Nick Dragon before. And it seems like, you know, Nick, aka Nikita has just been possessed by the spirit of arrogance. That's all I get from Nikita. That's why I just can't get into Nikita, the arrogance, the talking down to people, the I'm up here and you guys are down here. Y'all wish I could look like me. Y'all are so jealous. I'm better than any regular woman out here. No regular woman is prettier than a trans woman. Like, come on. Like, what's up with the disrespect? If you're confident within your new body and you're confident within yourself, you don't have to keep disrespecting other people. You get what I'm saying? If I am secure with who I am, I don't care what you look like. I don't care what you do because I know who I am. So to me, 
either you're not as secure as you're trying to make yourself out to be because you're constantly, constantly going at women. And I don't get that. And it's just not Nikita. It's several of them who do this and it's getting old. And the sad part is they make it look bad for everybody in the community because there's a lot of cool ass trans girls that I'm cool with. There's trans girls that I talk to damn near every day on Instagram that are cool as fuck. And they've never made me feel a way. They've never made me feel like I was less than. But then you have the Nikita Dragons of the world. And this is where all that conflict comes in with just regular women and trans women going back and forth because of people like Nikita. First of all, Nikita Dragon is not even black. So the fact that she has so much to say about black people, be it black gay people, black trans people, the point is you didn't set the culture, ma'am. You're not even black. So why do you have so much to say? And why are you able to even pin black folks against other black people? I mean, your whole swag, your whole attitude, everything you have literally came from the black community. From those braids to the black fishing that you do, you got it from the black folks, regardless if they're gay, straight, or trans. So for her to try and act like all of a sudden black women are so down here and they don't count and they get too much props. So let me bring them down a notch. You got life fucked up, ma'am. If anybody ever told you, I'm going to let you know. <clears throat> How you doing? And if you're offended by what I'm saying, I don't know what else to tell you, honey. But I just been peeping a lot of game. And it seems like there's all this vitriol constantly, okay, from women in this community towards black women. Nikita's not the only one, but the fact that an Asian trans person is sitting here speaking on black issues and trying to tell black people who did what, it just shows like this is ridiculous. You know, this is why the divide between the black community and the LGBT community needs to cease. So that way people can check people like Nikita Dragon, because at the end of the day, you're talking as if you're a black trans woman and you set the trends. You literally copied other black trans women, regular black women, and gay black men to get your whole swag. You know, this person has been called out so many times for racist remarks, for, you know, just all types of shady shit that she's been involved in, but she never seems to get canceled because folks are here. She never seems to get canceled because folks are scared to truly cancel her because she's trans. She gets away with a lot of stuff that regular gay boys would not be able to get away with or that regular straight people would not be able to get away with. But for some reason, she gets away with it. You know, and as far as people saying, well, you know, you got straight women, they'll go on record and be like, oh, bitch, I wore that outfit before. or You're trying to be like me or you, you took your whole style from me. I get that aspect of it. But that's not what Nikita was trying to do. Nikita was trying to just throw shade. She loves controversy. If you understand her backstory, she loves drama. She loves to stir up shit. You know, why post pictures of these women and then write dick on them right by their lower parts? So for folks who may not know who Asian Doll is or Lash Lioness is, they're thinking that shit, do these people got dicks? Are they, you know, trans as well? Like that, you know, like, yeah, she's purposely doing that shit to shade them. Because why even one put their picture? If you're that bitch and they're biting your style, okay, cool. But if you're going to use their picture, why not show their whole face? Why not show a side by side of how they supposedly took your swag? Why write dick on there? You know, so it's, it's that underlying, I'm going to throw rocks and then hide my hands and then, oh, you know, play victim when I'm caught out that I don't respect. And my thing is, if you can dish it, you better damn well be able to take it. And that's what I notice sometimes with some of these trans women. They love to talk real spicy and real crazy about, about regular women, about their bodies and shit like that. But then if you give them the same energy, then you're coin transphobic and then you're looking at getting in trouble and all that stuff. That's why a lot of times I don't even engage. You know what I'm saying? I let them say what the fuck they want to say. I don't engage because I know when people try and pull you into bullshit so that way they can play victim. That's I don't, I don't even engage with the dumb shit. Let them say what they want to say. At this point, people like Nikita just need to be ignored because she does stuff for controversy. She does stuff to keep stuff, you know, starting. Like I said, I know personally in real life that she has purposely misgendered real women. She gets uh, I've had a few people tell me this about her behind the scenes she gets off on that shit so i just i don't respect it i don't respect this whole now she's trying to play victim and i wasn't even trying to start nothing everybody takes from everybody right you have a lot of people who use gay lingo and things like that but then you also have people in the gay community who watch mannerisms from black women and they emulated it and over exaggerated it you know what i'm saying so no a lot of this stuff did come from black women 
And people borrowed it and, and remixed it and, and switched it up to the point where now the lingo and the mannerisms are so blurred between black women and trans women and gay men. And, you know, the whole thing is just crazy. But, yeah, I just I just see through the BS. You know, I just feel like she's doing too much. I don't think the song was necessarily a bad song. I could see the song being a bop. But I do think she shouldn't have put none of those women in there. You could have said your line without using their pictures. You could have said your line without trying to re-out Tyga and other people. You know, she did a lot of that stuff to be messy. She go viral to get a bunch of clicks, to get a bunch of views. She knows what she's doing. So like I was telling folks today, sometimes it's better to pay folks like this who want attention so bad. Pay them dust. You know, but I understand Asian doll for feeling away. Bitch, don't use my picture and then write dick on top of it like I'm a man. Like, what the fuck is you on? Because, again, if somebody took her picture and was like, this is a man, she'd be offended. You, you get what I'm saying? So don't, don't, don't write dick on my picture because I'm a female. I don't have a dick. You know, so I don't know, man. I'm just, I'm not a fan of Nikita. She's just done a lot of shady shit on YouTube. So I'm not going to paint everybody in the trans community with the same brush. I don't think it's fair to. Not all of them are disrespectful. You know, not all of them are trying to, you know, take over regular women's places. They just want to do them, be left alone, be respected. And those are the folks I'm going to respect. The ones who are disrespectful and who think they can constantly come at women and, and disrespect them when they feel like it, I have no respect for them, okay? They can kick rocks. So on that note, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know what y'all feel about this whole situation that went down today with Nikita Dragon and Asian Brad um, and other people calling her out. Um, do you feel like Nikita Dragon was doing this on purpose to be shady and she knew what she was doing? Do you feel like Asian Doll was wrong? Do you agree with the media calling her transphobic? Or do you feel like Asian Doll was just defending herself? And then last but not least, do you feel like there's two standards where one, you know, trans people or trans females, I should say, can go in on regular women, talk about their bodies, their hair, how they look. And everybody can just laugh and it's cool. But then when they get the same energy, then all of a sudden, well, I'm trans and you're transphobic. I see that shit play out all the time on social media. And I think at this point, a lot of people are over it. So on that note, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Make sure you hit the video with a like. Don't forget to share the video. And last but not least, make sure that you're still subscribed to my channel, honey, because you know YouTube loves to unsubscribe people. So hit the subscribe button and I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good day. Deuces.